So let us talk about uh, Ajax today and in this uh, we are going to see introduction what is Ajax that is Ajax works and Ajax server response certain dis and conclusions So Ajax stands for asynchronous JavaScript and XML this A is for asynchronous this J J for JavaScript and this X for XML so A from asynchronous, J A from JavaScript and X from XML. That is why we call it as Ajax asynchronous JavaScript and XML. So it is a group of interrelated web development techniques because you know we have JavaScript, we have XML, we are talking about asynchronous also. So we have webs uh, working together. Use on the client side, this is very important. Now this is client side. This technology is and this is to create interactive web applications. Web applications that are interactive, not static. Okay, you just don't to send the uh, information again back and forth to your server. So on the client side only, this is going to work. And Ajax is about uh, updating part of the web page, which is what I said just now, without reloading the whole page. You don't have to reload it. You don't have to go to the server and ask for the response. So updating the part of the page there and uh, at that time particularly and uh, this Ajax uses combination of HTML and CSS to markup and style information. This is uh, we are using HTML and CSS also in this Ajax. Again uh, this Ajax is asynchronous JavaScript and XML. So what is Ajax? It's not a standalone language or technology. So this is just a combination of certain technology which has been formed and it combines a set of known technology like you know we are aware of XML, we are aware of uh, JavaScript. This in order to create faster and user friendly web pages. So user friendly means if I type my name, right? Uh, if I'm uh, typing somebody's name or my name or if I'm typing it and in the drop down all the options are given. So it, it would be so easy for me. This is how Ajax uh, helps you. So this is entirely a client side technology and it make web pages more responsive by exchanging small amount of data. So there are data which is actually on, on the uh, on the hand or in front of GUI of to the to the user. So uh, this is so interactive that no static thing is there but whichever possible uh, dynamicity you can give you can provide it through Ajax. And this allows the web page to change its content without refreshing the whole page. Without refreshing the whole page, why we are speaking again and again? Because this is where we are talking about we are not going to serve. Right? So, this uh, web browser technology is independent of web server software. Right? This is web browser technology. You have a browser, you are uh, you have a page which has Ajax in it, which is Ajax enabled, I should say, and now you're working on it. So it is not at all communicating or at all not related with the server technology, right? Now the technology is involved because we're talking that uh, it is a group of technology. There are various technology which we al already know and this forms Ajax. So HTML or XHTML, we know it, hypertext uh, markup language, extended HTML and uh, the CSS cascading style sheet for this presentation. So the document object model or DOM for dynamic display of and interaction with data. So you have dynamic display and interaction available to the user through this document object model and this XML which is used for inter interchanging or, or sending and receiving data and XSLT for its manipulation. So this is, uh, you know, you know, this is a tagged um, data format kind of thing. You know very well about XML and this is what the manipulation, uh, how this uh, allows manipulation to be done on the client side. So we have a XML HTTP request, XML, then HTTP, Hypertext Transport Protocol. This is uh, actually you can say a tag or you can say a command. So that this XML HTTP request object, this is an object because uh, as we earlier said, this is a document object model type of thing. So this is an object for asynchronous communication. Ajax starts with A, that is asynchronous. So this helps XML HTTP request object. 
and also the JavaScript uh, is to bring these technology together. Ultimately, you have to write in some form. So JavaScript provide you uh, that uh, you know format. Now, how does this AJAX works? This is very important. Please, um, you know, watch it very carefully. This AJAX allow web pages to update asynchronously by exchanging small amount of data with the server without reloading the whole page. So there, you know, you are not aware of what is going on on the back side. Though data has to be uh, on on your page also uh, and uh, be available from your server also. But the way it is working is that exchanging asynchronously small amount of data. So you don't have to reload the page. You don't have to send the page total page to the server and again uh, you know get the response from the server which becomes or which makes your process somewhat uh, not uh, efficient first of all and not interactive as well so classic web pages must reload the entire page if the content should change this is what i just said and examples of applications using ajax because you know it that is why i'm i, am, I have put this these are very famous uh, applications like Google Maps, Gmail, YouTube, Facebook, etc. Now, what happens in Ajax works? How does Ajax works? This is a browser. This is a browser. Now, an event occur. It creates an XML HTTP request object, which just I mentioned, and it sends HTTP request through the internet to the server. Now, what server does? Server processes this HTTP request. It creates the response and send back to the browser through internet. So this process, this uh, browser receives this uh, response, and this the process the return object using this the using JavaScript. So JavaScript allows whatever HTTP request was sent and uh, being processed sent back to the page. So the page is updated then and there itself without refreshing it. Right? You have a just imagine uh, the example which I took. You have a name, right? You are typing a name. Now you are typing a name, and that small bit, bit or small piece of uh, uh, in a great application, it is just a small uh, portion. Now you are typing a name, and in the drop down list, you are getting all the names which are available. Now this is what is server providing, and without any reloading, you are able to work on it. This is the beauty and this is the power of Ajax. So let's take an example, uh, understand it by an example. This Ajax application uh, contains one div section and one button. One div section and one button. So div, uh, div uh, section will be used to display information written from a server. Now the button specify and hold function and the script section, this script section contains the function. Now XML, uh, Ajax create an XML HTTP request object. This XML HTTP request object is used to exchange the data with the server and this is behind the scenes, right? User is not aware what is going on the backside. While this XML HTTP request is being sent without, without uh, jeopardizing your uh, efficiency and uh, user interactiveness and this possible to update the part of the web page. You don't, there are various part of the pages. It, the page uh, may be divided into various sections, various parts. So that particular section will be updated and without reloading the whole page. So syntax of creating this XML HTTP request is very simple. You create new XML HTTP request. You take you can take any object or any name here, and this is as easy as it seems. And when uh, AJAX send a request to a server, what happens? This is the method. This is uh, the the methods of first of all this open is there then method url and this async what it specifies it specifies the type of request the url and if the request should be handled asynchronously or not because uh, the basic idea is of asynchronously so this is what is assigned here when the method method is the type of request can be get or post there are get and post there is a slight difference that the data which is going is seen, the data which is going is not seen to the user. This is what get and post does. And the URL is the location of the file in the server. Right? This URL, URL says the location of the file in the server. Async, if it is true, it, this will be asynchronous. If it is false, then it will be synchronous. 
So this is how uh, an example of syntax of open is. We have made an object called XML HTTP. It has a function called open XML HTTP dot open, and inside this, inside this, you have uh, uh, get ajax inf dot txt and true. So in this we have get get or post uh, we have chosen get and in this URL have we have given and this can maybe a website or a web URL and this is true means we want it asynchronously and then send this is again a function we say we are sending a string now what it does is it sends a request off to the server the string only used for post request this is for only post request and how it is used the syntax will be XML HTTP dot send. So the server will respond in uh, this way. The respond uh, response text property, which is used when the server uh, respond or response from the server is uh, actually not XML. So it returns the response as a string, right? Server responds as a string, not XML. So to get the response from a server, use we use the response text or response XML property. So this is a response text. If you want to get the response as a string and if you want to get the response as XML, you get the response data as XML data. And this is uh, the on ready state change event. Ajax has the on ready state change event. So when a request uh, is sent to the server, we need to perform some action based on the response. Right? When a request we are sending it to the server, there are some actions which are on our part. Uh, which is based on the response. So three major important properties of XML HTTP request objects are see the on ready state chain. This event is triggered every time when the ready state changes, right? And the ready state property, which we are talking about, holds the status of the XML HTTP request. For example, say, say status 200 is okay. So this is just an idea which I'm giving that there is uh, on ready state change also because we need to uh, look for the response the change of the uh, you know object uh, as per the re response from the server and using a callback function this callback function is a function which is passed as a parameter to another function this is also possible in ajax so if you have uh, more than one ajax task on your website uh, you should uh, create one standard function for creating this object and call this for each ajax task because you know your website may have your web page may have more than one task for that, what you can do, you can create one just standard object for creating uh, one standard function which creates this object. And once this is created, you can call it uh, uh, for each adjust as and the function uh, call should contain this URL and what to do on ready uh, state chain on ready state chain, which, uh, which I just explained. And the advantages of Ajax is page can be refreshed dynamically. Response to the uh, interface is quite faster and uh, it loads much faster than the, the payload uh, is much smaller and it reduces the demand for the bandwidth this is what we were requi requiring actually and it allows the web applications to be much more efficient faster user interactive and it, it operate more like an application rather than a state uh, standalone application those uh, HTML previously made application now if you use this uh, Ajax you'll see a huge difference and there are cert, uh, certain disadvantages also. Maybe uh, first, first is that it has to be integrating uh, in the browser. So integration of browser may be a disadvantage. And it is hard for the user to bookmark the state of the web page, right? Because user is not uh, involved. Whatever is going on in the is on the backside. And conclusions are the Ajax provides a very good functionality to create a robust web application. And if an Ajax web application is coded properly, it will run faster than any uh, non-Ajax pro program and also secure. So Ajax allow uh, various websites to reduce their overall bandwidth usage and server load by reducing the amount of full page loads again and again. So this is how Ajax works. This was a very brief introduction about uh, for Ajax and if you are interested if you want to use this Ajax in your uh, web page then you must uh, you know go on with Ajax uh, the Ajax is a very very uh, good technology thank you so much